Hi, uh, Dr. Valdez, Medical Director for the University of Illinois Office of Telemedicine. We're down in the telemedicine lab this morning. Uh, we're going to show you a quick operational solution, how to handle video calls for a clinical office. We're going to specifically focus on how calls can be queued up for either secretaries or a call center in your clinic so your patients don't get busy signals or the inability to connect, uh, similar to what you would expect if they were calling in on the telephone. Uh, we have seven computers here set up. Uh, this little window is a uh, pop-up window that would allow them to initiate a call. Over here we have two computers that are going to act as the secretaries. I'm doing this by myself, so I'll try and do this as quickly as I can, but I apologize I can't zoom in and out of the uh, computers for you. So on computer 10, we're going to initiate a call. Computer 9. Computer 7. And the icon changes to any web page you want just to show the uh, patient that a call was uh, sent in. From 6, 5, 4, and 3. So while that was happening, uh, the two systems over here have a queue count box which has been going up so now they read seven calls in queue. Uh, we're going to ready the uh, receptionist number one. Immediately the call count queues drop to six because one call has been put into uh, receptionist number one. We'll answer that call and you can see a video chat window opens up on computer 10 and the secretary number one. Uh, we'll go ahead and ready secretary number two. Q count drops to five, answer that call, and you can see the video chat window opens up in computer nine, and the second secretary. So we'll go ahead and cycle through some of these. They should go in just as the calls came in. So we'll drop this call. Q count drops to four, should open up in computer seven as it does. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave this call on. These calls may take a little longer. So we'll go ahead and show how the other secretary gets the next call in queue, which should be six, as it is. And we'll go ahead and drop that call. Call count box is now at two. Answers the call uh, from five as it came in. Now we'll show that you can do it with the other uh, call center agent or secretary as well. It really doesn't matter which one uh, goes next, they just take the next one in queue. So you see that, dropping that one. So this should be the last call in queue. That call comes in. And just to show you, I can go ahead and reinitiate another call from uh, 10. Call count queue goes back up to one. So if I drop this call and go to ready, it shows that I still have another call in queue. And that will open up back to the computer number, uh, call number 10. So essentially this is uh, really effective and efficient for telemedicine because it allows the workflow of telemedicine to more closely align the clinical workflow of an office and how they manage calls and patients. Uh, we'll try and do some more on hold, transfer, and other uh, video functions that in the future. Thanks.